Constable Hugh Smith, Traffic Services. Uh, this morning about 7.30, we got a call for a cyclist truck uh, by a streetcar down here at Lower Spadina Avenue and Lakeshore Boulevard West. Uh, what we have is a situation where we had a cyclist, a 60-year-old Toronto man, was in the center median of uh, Spadina Avenue and Lakeshore Boulevard, uh, waiting for the light to change uh, eastbound on the south side. Uh, unfortunately, um, he crossed into the path of a southbound T2C streetcar that was proceeding through on a transit signal with green arrows. All of their vehicles in that intersection were stopped at the time, and uh, unfortunately the, the rider uh, did not see the, the T2C uh, streetcar, or he chose to ride it across the path thinking he could clear it, but unfortunately it was far too close, and the driver, after indicating a warning with the bell, failed to, or couldn't stop, and struck the cyclist, pinning him beneath the apron of the vehicle. About 7.45, uh, he was shortly pronounced deceased on scene uh, and succumbed to the injury sustained in the collision. Uh, right now, the uh, investigation is ongoing. We have traffic services, rec reconstruction officers here, as well as the TTC is running a parallel investigation on their uh, on the transit center here. We have opened up east and westbound Lakeshore, uh, but traffic has been diverted on southbound uh, Spadina going east right now. And you said that was a 60-year-old, the victim was 60 years yes. old? He was uh, 60 years of age. He is a Toronto area resident uh, man, and uh, I have no idea where his destination was at this time, or where he's going. We do know he's heading eastbound on the south side of the intersection. Um, some witnesses over near the coffee time said that his bike survived. His bike survived. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's a it's a vehicle. Yeah. And vehicles well, can be repaired. Yes. Uh, you know, human beings sometimes can, but when you get a uh, riding in the path of a 20,000 pound vehicle. Uh, helmet or not, that's not going to, you know, certain things we do to reduce injury, mm -hmm. uh, but the bike is the, is the bike. I mean, it's it can be straightened out, it can be repaired, uh, we can't bring back this person's life for no. a decision that he's made to go against the traffic control. Was he wearing a helmet? No, he wasn't at the time. Uh, not that it would have helped in this um, this collision. Like I said, it's to reduce injuries for slow speed contacts or falls. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that it helps uh, in on impacts, but uh, again, riding directly in the path of any motor vehicle especially with that size and weight. Uh, again, it, it probably wouldn't have done anything to, to sustain um, any, other, any other injury to, to increase or enhance his life right now. Thank you very much. You're welcome.